Hi there, my name is Craig Beck. And for 20 years of my life, I had what I would describe as a serious drinking problem. And now, don't get me wrong, for the first 10 years of that, I didn't know I had a problem. And if you'd come up to me and accuse me of it, then I would have got very upset with you and, and denied it because I didn't think I was any different to anyone else. You know, I was the sort of guy that people would say could handle his drink. Um, I was very good value at parties. You know, I would turn up, I would drink a lot and very quickly fall over and embarrass myself and make you laugh. So, but I, I was still proud of this reputation that I, you know, I could drink a lot. And it wasn't until about 10 years into this drinking career that I started to see some really serious problems appearing in my life, uh, not least with my health. Uh, I was putting on weight very, very quickly. I had sleep apnea, so I was waking up in a panic four or five times a night, uh, unable to breathe. I had high blood pressure. Uh, I had a pain in my abdomen that I couldn't explain. And that was actually terrifying to me because it's in a very bad part of the body. You, you know, your liver, your pancreas, your bowel, many vital organs are in this part of your body. And for the longest time, I avoided it and ignored it. And eventually, when I plucked up the courage and went to my doctor, I was still expecting him to send me home saying it's nothing to worry about because that was my general experience of doctor's appointments. And it really hit me very hard when that doctor looked me in the eye and said, there may be something very seriously wrong with you. Uh, and I'm not ashamed to tell you that I, I cried myself to sleep that night because I couldn't believe that I, I just couldn't deal with this on my own, that I was doing something that was making me miserable. But more than that, it was something that was going to kill me and I, I was going to end up making my own children go to their father's funeral. And I'm like any other parent, you know, I would kill anyone who hurt my kids, but um, here I was doing it myself. And so I was in a very miserable place and I just couldn't get out of it. I tried everything to cut back and moderate my drinking because for about five years, I didn't want to stop. All I wanted to do was be able to drink like other people, like normal people. You know, I would see people get a bottle of wine out of the refrigerator, pour themselves a glass, drink it and then put the bottle away. And I'd be like, how'd you do that? Black magic or something. And that's all I wanted to do for a very long time to moderate my drinking. But nothing worked. I tried everything. I tried going to Alcoholics Anonymous. I tried prescription medication that I ordered on the internet from overseas because nobody would prescribe it and actually nearly killed myself doing that. I tried hypnosis. I tried, I tried everything. And no matter what I did, my drinking just got worse and worse and worse. Until I realized something. I have one of those, you know, light bulb moments where I realized that every single approach to problem drinking uses the same technique, willpower. Alcoholics Anonymous, pure willpower. Prescription medication, willpower. You have to force yourself to take a tablet that is going to render the thing you want the most obsolete or painful. Willpower. Rehab. Great while you're in there, $1,000 a day, but when you get out, willpower. Now, what I've worked out was that willpower has a 95% chance of failure. And so I stopped beating myself up. I understood why I couldn't deal with this problem on my own. Because alcohol addiction is a bit like quicksand. The more you struggle and fight on your own, the deeper you sink. What you actually need is someone to reach in with a hand and pull you out of the problem. And when I worked that out, everything got easy. Everything became peaceful. I quit drinking without any cravings, without any struggle, without any of the hardship that you would expect to go through. Because everyone tells you that quitting drinking has to be painful, has to be difficult. And when I worked that out, I started being able to help other people. And since then, I've gone on to help over 50,000 people to go through the same amazing process, to get the real authentic versions of themselves back, to be the parent, the partner, the friend, the family member that they're capable of being, to not spending half their life in some zombified state. And when you kick this attractively packaged poison out of your life, everything gets better. Everything. Your health dramatically improves. Your relationships are so much deeper and more profound. Your career gets better. 
your level of success, your wealth, your abundance, your finances, everything improves when you stop drinking poison for fun. It's the most amazing, life-changing process that I've ever created. It's what I wish was available when I had a problem. It's helped so many people. Go to Trustpilot, where independently verified reviews are listed, and type in Stop Drinking Expert, and you'll just see five-star review after five-star review. This is transforming lives. I'm exceptionally proud and passionate about this program. So look, if you've reached the point in your life where you've decided that enough is enough, no more of this misery, no more waking up every morning full of guilt and regret because yet again, you drank last night, even though you promised yourself all day that you wouldn't. If you're ready, then why don't you join me for a free quit drinking webinar? a free online workshop with me, and I will teach you the process I went through. I'll give you three secrets in this webinar. I'll show you why willpower doesn't work. I'll explain it to you and give you an intelligent solution to the problem. I'll show you why you're not an alcoholic. I will never label you an alcoholic because I will never label myself one, and I will explain why in the webinar. And I want to give you the tools to get serious leverage on this problem so that Dealing with this becomes easy. Nothing's fun if it's a struggle. And so I want to give you the secrets that I've learned over the years to make this simple, quick, and easy. So the next step is to enter your email address and join me for my next free quit drinking webinar. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, see you in the webinar very, very soon.